Justice was denied once again to former Prime Minister Imran Khan and his wife Pusha Bibi as the politically motivated illegal marriage case once again adjourned. The judge in the case, Shahrukh Arjuman, repeatedly declared that he would announce his verdict today but bizarrely adjourned until April 24th. Court proceedings were delayed for five hours until Rizwan Abbasi, the state-supported counsel, who is the lawyer for Busha Bibi's ex-husband, showed up. Salman Akram Raja, Mr. Khan's counsel, said delaying tactics were being used in this case. Umar Ayub Khan, the Secretary General of Pakistan Tariq Saf, the party of illegally incarcerated Imran Khan, has demanded an independent commission for a fair investigation of the May 9 incidents in which unknown individuals damaged state property without state security impeding their actions. Mr. Umar Ayub questioned where the CCTV footage of the incidents were. Thousands of PTI workers were rounded up and arrested within hours of the events, raising questions about the events being pre-planned to damage Mr. Khan's party. Rauf Hassan, the Secretary of Information of PTI, in a press conference today said the party would oppose, quote, with full force in the parliament, unquote, any attempts by the illegal government to extend the tenure of the controversial Chief Justice Qazi Faiz Isa. Quote, Qazi Faiz Isa cannot see the injustice in the country. He is unable to dispense justice. He is under the influence of the powers who control this country from the shadows, unquote said Mr. Rauf Hassan, referring to the powerful military intelligence apparatus, which are widely believed to be running the affairs of the country. Palestinians came under Israeli fire as they attempted to return to northern Gaza. Israeli soldiers opened fire on displaced Palestinians as thousands of people attempted to return to their homes in north Gaza. Quote, I am going to Gaza City. It is enough. We need to go back to our homes and lands. We are tired of displacement. We heard people saying we can go back, but no one official told us. We leave it to God. Unquote. Majd al-Aqad said. However, he and thousands of others were stopped as videos showed heavy fire from Israeli forces. Since October 7, Israel has killed 33,729, mostly women and children, while injuring 76,371.